Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and today we have another seed discovery video for you. This one's pretty cool, it's got two maypoles, both of them are right on the ocean. Um, it's a pretty good seed, and one of the maypoles is, is, is a really beautiful build location. And I'm gonna take you to both of them. I'm also, along the way, we're gonna stop at another really good build location. It doesn't have a maypole, but it's pretty good. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel, and I appreciate it. Here's maypole number one. Um, not bad. It's This is open ocean right there, okay? There's a little bit of a, a hut right there, which is sticking right out into the ocean. That's open ocean. You'll see in the when we do the seed map. Um there's not a whole lot of resources around this maypole, though. It's just kind of here. Um, it, it's right on the ocean, though, and this is a pretty interesting little port location. I think you could build something pretty unique here. Um, plenty of piggies running around. you got one building out here, which is on its own little plateau. I think that's actually fairly unique in and of itself. That would be a pretty good for a little hut. Um, you know, some raspberry bushes, the standard fare. You've got a couple of deer spawns around here. Um, interestingly, if you, over here, I believe, I don't know how high, if I could see it from here. Uh, you can't, but over in that direction, um, there is a Draugr village, which is pretty cool. Um, you can farm that up and get some, uh, what do they drop again? The, the guts or whatever it is. It's like, so you can make sausages. You can get that pretty early, so that's pretty cool. But that's maypole number one. That's actually the least attractive of them. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to head back here. Now, here's the spawn, okay? This maypole is here. It's not on the spawn, and you'll see this is its own little island. And the one up here is its own little island, but I want to show you this location as well. So let's fly back there. And while we do, I will chat a little bit about Valheim what's going on with my gameplay, etc. Um, I'm at the point now with my vanilla playthrough. I have defeated Motor. There's a stream of that on my channel where I, I finally get the kill on Motor. I do die. Um, motor, I'm one for three on that playthrough with Motor, and she killed me. Now, I've killed Motor before in other playthroughs, and they were modded playthroughs. This one is a pure vanilla playthrough. So for me, I'm heading to the plains. Um, what I did a few months ago, well, not a few months ago, probably a half a year ago, is I was playing just a, a lot of modded Valheim, and it was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was just like literally everything was modded. You know, like you could stand at the craft table and never have to take anything out of uh, a chest, you know, you just craft it automatically. I mean, I was really using... I think I was using like 50 mods at the time. And I think mods in Valheim are really, really good. I think they add to the game totally. However, I was finding that it was really making the game easy. Um, I was face rolling through um, the seeds that I was playing. You know, I was just able to get right to the boss almost every time. And I had these unique weapons that were just kicking butt. And, uh, you know, I accumulated trophies, I stored them, whatever. And I'm like, all right, well, what am I really getting out of Valheim at this point? Um, you know, I'm just uh, pretty much curb stomping everything. So I decided to take a break of playing and then come back and just do a vanilla playthrough. And that's what, I, that's what I've been doing. So hopefully um, you can check out some of those streams. They are on the channel. And I will be streaming Valheim again pretty soon can't confirm when but it will be shortly now this is the other location that I wanted to show you this is a really really good little village right here um, there's no maypole but you've got four raspberry bushes four over here you've got your little boars you've got some necks right in this little pond behind you um, as you can hear there was a deer hooping in the background some more necks over here over here and then the open ocean and this is a nice little village um 
I think this would be a pretty good place to build. And that's why I think the seed would be a decent group seed. Now let's get up to this maple up here, which is really the highlight. Um, it's the, the, the best location um, on the seed, I think, to build. We do have that other maple. You saw it. It's just kind of standalone. It's there, um, which is nice. That little village right there is a really, I think, a really good place to build. But this maypole that I'm going to show you last is the highlight. And once we get here, we'll go take a look at the Valheim map, sea generator, and take a look at the bosses and do the deep dive that we normally do. Um, so as you're rolling in, you've got a little building here, not much, you know, which is, I guess you could put a lighthouse right there. Um, but here's the maypole here. Now this is pretty unique. You've got, obviously you've got beehive there, but that's a nice building. Another building here, four buildings, um, a little, uh, farm area here and then the maypole right in the middle I think this would be a pretty good location to build it's so open you've got a five stone hub over there that'll probably flood when the waters get really high but I think that might be a decent plate for a port or maybe um a tower of some kind like a crafting tower um this maypole I think is in a pretty cool location this is a seed that I would play and this is where I would build if I were if I were playing. Um, I'm not sure what I would do with this location, but I think this has the potential for a, a clan, maybe uh, two or three people, uh, really building a nice, uh, huge uh, citadel here, really around this area, um, and just using this as their hub of lo uh, you know their hub basically where they have their crafting areas it's it's aesthetically not bad you've got a building up here you've got one here you've got that portal hub over here um it's a pretty good location i think i think it's very attractive let's take a look at the seed generator valheim world map so we're right here okay and well i'm sorry we're right here that's the maypole we're at. It's its own little island. Okay, that in and of itself is pretty cool. However, there's not a whole lot of resources on this island, so um, it, it, it's a really nice location, but you don't have a lot of resources. Now, here's that maypole that was just on the water, and I told you there were Draugr, There was a Draugr village. There's actually three over here, um, and you've got um, a lot of resources too. This might be a nice place to farm. Uh, just to get some resources. Maybe you built your crafting area over here by this maypole. Put a bed there so you can rest if you want. Um, here's your spawn, obviously. Uh, not bad. Two maypoles. This one's on a little island. You're going to have to either get on a boat or get to cheat mode to get to either one of them. Not the end of the world if you go into cheat mode. Okay, fly around a little bit. Um, or, you know, if you want to play hardcore like a lot of people do, that's cool. Build a raft, build a boat, sail down. Either one of these are pretty good build locations. I like this little island. I like challenges. I like to build on the island and then have to go find resources, get on a boat. Cool thing over here is you've got a little island with um, five biomes on it. Uh, you should be able to farm up some resources pretty quick. Let's take a look at the bosses, though. How do the bosses fare? Uh, not horrible. but not fantastic. However, if we go west, we actually have all of them right over here. So the good news with this seed is, is you've got the play from the main maypole. Like this is the most attractive maypole, in my opinion. You may disagree. You may think it's this one over here. But when we look to the west, we've got everything. We've got two motors, which is rare to have two motors close together, two elders, a Yaglith, a bone mass, and a queen. And you've got Ashlands right down here. Um, not too shabby. Now, you do have to get to the elder, f you know, if you, you're doing it in sequential order, which, by the way, you never, you don't have to do. Okay? Um, you don't have to do the bosses in any particular order. It's wise to do them in order, but you don't have to. But this is the play here. You you definitely go get to this maypole. You build up. 
um, get the resources you need, and then I would say, you know, definitely head west. You've got all your bosses right here. It's it's solid. And the trader is over here to the west as well. You got a trader here and a trader here. So let's talk about the boss clumping and give this a point value. I think that the seed, because of this, the maypoles and this particular little island with the maypole, there's enough challenge. Uh, I think this is a good group seed. Um, I think this would be like an eight and a half, maybe a nine. Uh, I, I think I'm going to give it a nine because it's got that second maypole and it's got that other really cool build location right over here, which is just a village, but it's really aesthetically nice. Um, I, I think the boss distribution here with the traders is really, really solid. So I'm definitely going to go with a nine on this particular seed. I think it's definitely a good play. Let's take a look at some of the other things. So let's take a look at, we want to take a look at, first we want to make sure, does the bone mass have a lot of tombs and crypts? It does. Okay. What we want to see is we want to see a bone mass biome that has all the tombs and crypts we're going to need. In addition to that, my personal play style, um, I like to take on bone mass and then have a crypt close by in case I need to run in there to get relief from the fight. Okay, so I don't die. Um, in addition to that, you can um, drop stuff in there, build a portal on top of it if you want. Um, this is a good swamp biome right here. Okay, now one of the issues that we have is is on the on this maple island that we're selecting we don't have any tombs and crypts which sucks however down by this elder here we've got plenty and that's we also have a trader location down here as well this elder not so much i think your play is going to be heading south getting over into this elder farming up your certainly cores through this getting all your uh dark forest or black forest materials here you've got your trader and then boom you head up to bone mass um you can stay on the main island and there's plenty of crypts right here so overall i think we have a solid bone mass location so that's good the tombs and crypts for the dark forest run the elder are pretty solid so we've got a good elder location with a trader near it and plenty of crypts we've got a good bone mass location with plenty of crypts again this is looking better and better. Let's take a look at motor, though. We want to make sure that the same thing is true for motor. We want um, tombs and crypts and the eggs around motor. So let's look at the frost caves. Uh, this is pretty good. There's a lot of frost caves right here, plus a trader. So you may choose to come to this trader. Who knows what you're going to do. I, I personally am going to go here. Um, there's a couple of frost caves here. But again, we want... To go find one particular biome with the boss in it that has everything that we need this is plenty of frost caves you're not going to need more than that maybe if again if you're playing with a group maybe you'll need more but that's a lot let's make sure that it's got the dragon eggs it's got enough um you're going to need three and there's a couple close by and then there's some down here i mean so again what we have is is we have a really good motor location now this one down here isn't horrible either but you got to go through the mistlands and a little bit or and or a little bit of the plains to get to it i don't want to deal with that um early or when i'm at motor i'm just coming off bone mass i really don't want to have to deal with um the mistlands so i'm coming here and this this mountain biome has just about everything that i going to need. Um, it's probably got plenty of wolves, plenty of silver. So again, we've got a solid elder location with the trader. We've got a solid bone mass with plenty of crypts by it. We've got a solid motor with plenty of eggs and frost caves. Um, let's let's move on. Let's take a look at Yagloth. We've got a good light Yagloth location right here. Let's see if we've got totems. We really don't have a lot by the Yagloth, which is not abnormal. Yagloth, for some reason, some of the spawns for Yagloth don't really have a lot of totems. But if we look around, we've got plenty up here if we need to come up here to farm them up. And there's plenty down here by this motor 
mountain biome that we're going to farm anyways. So we, the play is probably going to be as you, you come here, grab these, come here, grab these. Remember, these are camps, right? These are the goblin camps. You have to get in there and get the totems because you need five of them for Yagloth. And you've got one here and one here. Um, it'd be great if there were more around this Yagloth. But there's some that are close enough. Uh, not a point off for that, but they're not getting a point. We're not getting a point for that. I still think it's a good Yagloth location, but it's not great. You're going to have to go farm up those um, totems. Now, let's check out the queen. So the queen, I'm going to, uh, full disclosure, I've dabbled in the Mistlands. I've gone in and checked it out, you know, on my own in cheat mode. I haven't actually played it. What I mean is get in there farm the resources build I, I just haven't done it yet because i don't want to rush it for me that's just just where i'm at with my gaming journey you may have already farmed the queen up and conquered it a couple of times that's cool so you know i'm not 100 percent fluent on what we need here and what we're looking for but i've got a pretty general idea um let's find out where we're at so we've got Plenty of buildings around the Queen, which I believe you can take over and, and make into a base. Now, oh yeah, we need the, the giants. Plenty of giants. I mean, I don't know how many of those you're really going to need. Um, the iron. Now, that might be an issue, okay, because I, I only see a couple up here. And there's really, you know, I, I don't know how far you want to go traipsing around. The mistlands, but um, this one biome we're going to want to farm, and there's not a whole lot really close to her. Um, you've got that one here, and you've got one up here. Uh, so this queen location, it's okay. Um, you know, is it great? It's solid. Um, I, again, it's it's like Yagloth. I'm not going to take a point off for it because it's way out in the boonies. I'm not going to give it an extra point because the resources are all farmable right by the spawn. Um, however, it's in the progression of us moving west, which is good because, again, the next biome we're getting is Ashlands, and you can see here we're fairly close to the Ashlands. So ideally, when, we get, when, when Ashlands drops, whatever boss it is, is right here. That'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, we can hope, right? Um, so overall, not too bad for the bosses. I think uh, it, one of the things that I look for in these seeds is is it's it's not just, okay, are we close to the bosses, but what kind of biome are we looking at where the bosses are? You can have a bone mass right here, but if it doesn't have, uh, you know, the, the sunken crypts, you know, then you're going to have to sail maybe over here or over here to get the sunken crypts. You ideally want to go to one location where it's got everything at least that's what i like to do maybe you like to sail around i don't know tell me in the comments below but let's go take a look at the other miscellaneous stuff okay um so let's look at leviathans real quick so you can get your abyssal harpoon um there's four in the general area i mean i, I don't know how much you're going to really need um if you are playing on this particular seed with a group you're probably going to want a couple of abyssal harpoons, but four should be good. If not, you can always come up here. There's three clumped together up here. Uh, it's not horrible. You've got enough off your coast here where you can sail to get them. Um, let's take a look at troll caves real quickly. We'd like to see troll caves right by a trader. That gives us the ability to put a portal in there, which I mention in almost every video I make. This is a solid troll cave location you clear the troll cave kill the troll board up the front put a door in it slap a portal and boom you've got instant access to the elder and to the trader because you may be playing on a modded server and you may need to farm these bosses to get specific drops so you can trade in um i don't know i've seen all sorts of mods where you get you know magical items or you know maybe your mod maybe the server owner has a um contest whoever can turn in the most uh drops from x boss gets you know uh prize on that particular server you never know uh these are 
really, really good portal hubs. So that one's pretty solid for the Elder. Um, this one's okay. It gets you in to where the motor is going to be. And this one over here is pretty good too. Um, not bad. What else can I show you? We've looked at the tombs and crypts. Let's look at the beehives. Um, there's one right by this maypole I showed you in game. It's that one little um, church-like building. Um, one isn't great. Four is fine. Six is overkill. I think four queen bees is enough honey. If you continue to farm them over time, you're just going to accumulate so much. So when you start off at your spawn here, just make sure you get all the bee queen bees that you want before you jump in the boat or go into cheat mode and fly over to the maypole. Um, how about useful runes? Where are the piggies? There isn't any on this location. This is where we're going to build. So what that means is, is when you get here, definitely enclose a pen and get the pigs domesticated. After you get them domesticated, you can let them run run loose, okay? Um, just throw food down. They'll come back and get it, and they'll have other little pigs. And you'll see that they won't be hostile to you when you're running around the island. Um, and then when you get your knife, you can just, you know, slaughter them. But it, what, that's one of the nice things about having a little island is you can let the pigs run, run free once you get a few of them domesticated. So, there's that. Um, tar pits, that's something for the aesthetic. Um, I always put that in my videos because I know a lot of people like to collect that. Plenty of tar pits by this Yagloth, which is great. She can build those dark um, tiled roofs, which are really cool aesthetic. There's plenty of tar pits down here, so you're not going to have a problem with that. Um, I think that about covers it. So, overall, I think this is going to be a 9 for us. Uh, got two maypoles a really cool little village right here where you know I wouldn't gripe if somebody went into cheat mode and put a maypole there just so they you know if you had three three people playing um it'd be three maypole bases that'd be pretty cool but you do you um I think the bosses the boss plays obviously to the west with a couple of traders here to give you some options we determined that you know our yak, our bone mass, our elder, and our motor are really solid biomes for us. So I think this is a nine seed. Um, this is definitely something I would play. I love these little island bases because I like to sail. Not for everybody, but I think it's a nine. I don't know. Anyways, here it is at night. Um, Valheim is a beautiful game. You can see there by the moonlight that that hub. Um, you can see you may be building a little shrine here to Odin, where you worship in the middle of the night, maybe sacrifice some boars to the fire, and, you know, build your base right here. Um, I think this would be a cool little location to build, and I think the play here is definitely going to be a group play, though. I I mean, you can obviously play any, any seat solo, but it, it, not every seat is good for groups. I don't think this is going to be a good... Um, massive uh, group play like some servers they've got you know a lot of people playing I, I think you could do that if you had some really creative builders that you could build around this location you could do that um, I think this is probably going to be good for a three to five person server playthrough that's modded that makes it really, really hard, you know, which, by the way, we are going to get pretty soon, um, difficulty sliders, but um, maybe you're playing a modded server that's really challenging and you need three or four people, you know, maybe from your Discord that are playing with you. I think this seed would do really well. Anyways, you tell me what you think in the comments below. I know this, this seed discovery went a little longer than normal, but I wanted to show you those two locations. I, I think showing you that other maypole is important because I'm, I'm portraying this as a group play seed and I think it's important to show the locations I think are decent build locations. But you tell me what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. Thank you so much. Remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you again soon.